Hi everyone. So in today's video, let's discuss the unbounded region problems. Well, if you have any confusion about the bounded region problems, please refer to my previous video on the same. Let's get started. The unbounded region problem, the first three steps are absolutely the same. To quickly run you through formulation of the problem, that means you introduce. You introduce the variables which are there. You write down the objective function. Objective function means what has to be maximized or minimized. And step number three is writing the constraints. Step two would be graphing of the problem which would require your graph. Step number three is finally solving what's on the graph and we use the corner point method. Whereas don't stop there. Step number four, verification is very critical. Now talking of the unbounded region problem, let's have a look at this question. It says a dietitian wishes to mix two types of food in such a way that the vitamin contents of the mixture contain at least 8 units of vitamin A and 10 units of vitamin C. Food 1 contains 2 units per kg of vitamin A and 1 unit per kg of vitamin C. Likewise your food 2 contains 1 unit per kg of vitamin A and 2 units per kg of vitamin C. Then the cost of each food type has been mentioned. We need to determine the minimum cost to this mixture and then solve this as a linear programming problem. So we say let x be the quantity of food 1 to be mixed and y be the quantity of food 2 to be mixed. Next the objective function that means what is the aim in our question? We have to minimize the cost. So the cost for food 1 is 5. So 5x plus if the cost per kg for food 2 is 7 and we are using y units so 7y. Now subject to the constraints. Now food 1 contains as it says food 1 contains 2 units per kg of vitamin A and 1 unit per kg of vitamin C. And food 2 contains 1 unit of vitamin A and 2 units of vitamin C. I am making that midway table. You know this step is completely optional. You can write the constraints straight away. Now for vitamin A, it says the contents of the mixture contain at least 8 units of vitamin A and at least 10 units of vitamin C. So once we have this, the constraints simply become 2x because you know x units of food 1 are being mixed and y units of food 2. So 2x plus y is greater than or equal to 8. Next, x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 10. And xy is greater than or equal to 0. Now step number 2 which is graphing involves putting these constraints on the graph. So when x is 0, y is 8. So one of the points is 0, 8. Next when y is 0, x would be 4. So next point is 4, 0. So we've joined the line and labeled it. Next let's move to constraint number 2. So when x is 0, y is 5. And when y is 0, x is 10. So on joining these two points and labeling the line, this is what we get. Now, let's see, it says greater than equal to 8 and 10 everywhere. So that means it's an unbounded region. So this is the common part. Now, how do we mark the corner points over here? Please see, one has to be the point of intersection and then the next points are these. For points of intersection, your graphing has to be perfect. Like it is very clear from here that the point of intersection we are getting is 2,4. You can also confirm the same by solving these two linear equations simultaneously. Let's move to step number 3 which is the solution. So step number 3 we put all the corner points in the first column and the second one entails to your objective function. So when I put your x as 0, this becomes 56. Putting 2, 4, this is 10 plus 28, that's 38. And this one gives us 50. 
Now, since your question was to minimize, ideally this should be the answer, but wait, your question it doesn't stop here. It's an unbounded region problem, so we have to take an extra step. This is something which we expect to be the answer, but then we have to ensure that. How do we do that? That's the hidden step number four. Now the verification step, how do we do that? So what we do is we would plot the inequality 5x plus 7y less than 38. We will try and see that is it giving us some value which is lower or 38 was the minimum. So when we try and plot this, when x is 0, y is 38 by 7. 38 by 7 would be 5 point something approximately. So I take it somewhere here. And when your y 0, x is 38 by 5, that would be approximately 7 point something. So we take it here. And then I join. Since this is a strict inequality, so we join using the dotted line. Please note, why is it passing through 2, 4? You can substitute 5 into 2 plus 7 into 4. That again gives you 38. So it crosses your point 2, 4. So once we plotted this point, now this is less than 38 means it is this side. Now, how does that give us any conclusion? Please see, if this line and the unbounded solution region... Please note, if the unbounded solution region that we had marked earlier and the region plotted by this line have nothing in common, then we say that the point which we anticipated is indeed the point of minima. Why do we say that? Because if there was any region which was overlapping, that would have created a confusion that maybe the value is lower than 38. But here... If you try to plot something lower than 38, it completely is disjoint from your unbounded region. So from here we conclude. So since the region plotted by this line and the unbounded solution have nothing in common, therefore 2, 4 is the minimum point. Do not forget this step 4. It is very crucial because most of the students... Just like your bounded region, you stop here and conclude the answer. But in case there was anything overlapping, then you would say there is no solution. I hope this video could help you to sort out your doubts in unbounded region problem. If yes, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. See you with the next video. But before that, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that so far. Bye-bye.